Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss slow sand filter. What is slow sand filter? How it works? We are going to demonstrate the mechanism of its actions. What is the difference between slow sand filter and rapid sand filter? What is Juglier layer? How it is formed? Actually, we can build simple slow sand filter. Let me show you one slow sand filter. Here it is. Slow sand filter. See? The surface water is poured from above and from below clean clear water is coming. See how clean is water. Hi everyone, I am going to talk about purification of water. Pure uncontaminated water doesn't occur in nature. It contains impurities of both kinds, that is natural and man-made. To produce water that is safe and drinkable, water, water treatment is done. The water treatment has mainly purification of water and purification of water can be done in a large scale for the community and in a small scale for our home household purposes. Purification on a large scale, I am going to talk about purification of large scale first and uh, purification on a large scale uh, in that how do we obtain water for the community? We obtain water for the community either from a uh, surface, water, surface areas like rivers uh, rivers and springs etc which contains a lot of impurities and other method by which we can obtain uh, obtain water for uh, uh, our community is from the ground water that is uh, wells or uh, wells or dug wells or tube wells etc so uh, now we are talking most of the most of the uh, large scale water is, is obtained from surface waters that is rivers and uh, for this water to be made drinkable, we need uh, purification of water. So, a typical water purification system, uh, what, does, what does it comprise of? It comprises of three main methods, that is storage, filtration and disinfection. Storage. Now, wh why storage is important for purification of water? Storage provides a reserve of water from which, it, uh, from which further pollution can be excluded. And as a result of uh, storage, considerable amount of purification takes place. Filtration can be done through two methods. That is, slow. There is slow sand filters and rapid sand filters. And uh, third method is disinfection. Disinfection can be done in a lot of methods. Uh, like chlorination is most the famous one. So this is uh, about the introduction to purification of water. Slow sand filter is still, even after 100 years, one of the important way of purifying the water at larger scale. The most important part of slow sand filter is what we call sand bed. Sand bed consists of different layers of from gravel to sand. It starts from coarse gravel, then the fine gravel, then comes graded sand particles starting from coarse sand which reaches up to minute sand particles having size of 0.2 to 0.3 micron all these constitute the sand bed which allows filtration which finally goes to the pipe and finally result into portable water
Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about slow sand filter. Slow sand filter is a type of centralized or semi-centralized water purification system. A well-designed and properly maintained slow sand filter effectively removes turbidity pathogenic organisms through biological, physical and chemical processes in a single treatment step. Only under prevalence of high high amount of turbidity or algae contamination pretreatment is required. Pretreatment such as sedimentation is required else we can directly use it in a slow sand filter. Slow sand filters are characterized by high reliability and rather low life cycle costs. Moreover neither construction nor maintenance requires more than a basic skills. Hence, slow sand filter is a promising method for small to medium sized rural communities with fairly good quality of initial surface water. As stated by WHO, slow sand filter provides a simple but highly effective and considerably cheap tool that can contribute to sustainable water management system. In this video, we will be dealing about structure and mechanism of slow sand filter. This is a schematic diagram of slow sand filter representing inflow of water, inflow of water and outflow of drinking water. Basically we take a considerably uh, fair quality of surface water and we convert it into a drinkable water. Right? It is made up of various layers known as filtering media. Right? It has different sorts of layers which, through which water is filtered out and it has a concrete base concrete base from low from the below upwards the size of the filtering medium goes on decreasing rather to say that initially in the basement of the area there is a filtering medium consisting of porous pipe with laterals we will see what is laterals and it is covered by coarse gravels following fine gravels following sand with decreasing in the size of the sand particles. This is a base layer with porous pipe. As you can see there is a central pipe connected with the collaterals. This is to enable the water collecting from the various parts of this slow sand filter to be centralized to a central canal or central pipe right as you can see in this diagram water is filtered throughout the slow sand filter and it cannot enter in a single pipe so laterals are made you can see that there are large particles large stone particles these are called as coarse gravels this is made to prevent the clogging of this porous pipe <coughs> right coming to the second layer this is a fine gravel as you can see fine gravel second layer is a fine gravel following which we have coarse sand coarse sand which is smaller than this fine gravel fine and it is covered right and next layer we have fine sand of 3 to 5 millimeters and ultra fine sand ultra fine sand also right following the topmost layer surface water or pretreated water by sedimentation flows into the slow sand filter and it is collected at the topmost layer right and it is filtered out initial two days slow sand filter is not fit for use because biological layer as we discussed is not formed. Biological layer is also known as skimmel duct layer forms the topmost layer of the slow sand filter and it acts as a biological filter. Skimmel duct layer is formed by various bacteria which are which are uh, which which engulf the pathogenic organisms of the water by forming a thin slimus layer means it means to say that this layer 
captures the pathogenic organisms and feed on them so that most of the pathogenic organisms are filtered out of the topmost layer as the water trickles down it is filtered by mechanical methods by the size of the porous medium and it trickles into the porous pipe formed from the collaterals and it is given as output as you can see that the output layer has a loss of height of the water because of the filtration medium this is known as head loss head loss acts as an indicator when to clean the slow sand filter it means to say that ideally <coughs> head loss should be almost like 90 centimeters in depth or 1.90 to 1.7 1.7 meters of head loss is seen when the head loss increases means to say that water surface area goes upward it means to that effective filtration of the slow sand filtration is decreasing rather water is continuously flowing without any filtration it is an indication for maintenance or cleaning of slow sand filter right this is a picture of large scale slow sand filter slow sand filters can be anywhere between 100 square feet to 2000 square feet it means to say that it is scalable at a large scale as well as a small scale <coughs> this is a community level slow sand filter built by concrete blocks and this is a rural slow sand filter where you can see that a plastic container is used as a slow sand filter filtration capacity like slow sand filters requires 100 to 2000 square feet area and it can filter about 100 to 200 liters per hour per square meter of slow sand filter area of slow sand filter varies from 100 to 2000 square feet square meters sorry slow sand filters are highly effective for bacteria protozoa viruses and it is highly effective in removing turbidity and also heavy metals such as zinc copper cadmium and lead it is somewhat effective in removing odor taste iron magnesium or organic matter or arsenic it is not at all effective in removing salts or fluorides or chemicals such as trihalomethane or majority of the chemical pollutants we shall now be talking about the vital layer uh, before the formation of vital layer this slow sand filter mainly acts as a mechanical strainer soon the sand bed gets covered with slimy gelatinous material it consists of plantains algae and bacteria this is known as the vital layer it is also known as, and also known as the Zubier layer, biological layer and Schmidt's layer. And the formation of vital layer is called the ripening of the slow sand filter. It is the heart of slow sand filter. It uh, mainly holds back the bacteria and organic matter and therefore it yields uh, the water which is free of all the organic matter. Now I am presenting the comparison between slow sand filter and rapid sand filter. Here it is a slow sand filter. So in slow sand filter, first of all, no pretreatment is required except in some cases uh, sedimentation may require. While in rapid sand filter, uh, flocculation, coagulation and sedimentation is required. Now the uh, mater base material. In slow sand filter, depth of the gravel, uh, depth of the gravel base is uh, 30 to 75 centimeter 
while in rapid sand filter it is 30 to 40 cm and in gravel uh, graded gravel size is uh, 3 mm to uh, 65 mm in uh, slow sand filter while in uh, rapid sand filter it is up to 3 mm to 50 mm and there is a 3 to 4 layers in rapid sand filters now filtration rate uh, uh, in slow sand filter uh, 100 to 200 liter per hour per square meter is a filtration rate while in rapid sand filter 4800 to 7200 uh, liter per hour per square meter is the filtration rate now the cost uh, installation in slow sand filter uh, there is a high cost uh, uh, installation rate while in rapid sand filter it is a low cost installation rate and uh, uh, now uh, uh, efficiency uh, first of all in so, uh, slow sand filter uh, there is a low turbidity and the removal of bacteria is 98 to 99 percent while in rapid sand filter it is quite low 80 to 90 percent and slow sand filter is uh, suitable for uh, rural area water supply and for uh, town and cities water supply rapid sand filter is suitable now uh, post uh, treatment of this uh, purification slight uh, uh, disinfection is required in slow sand filter while complete disinfection is, is required in rapid sand filter uh, now method of uh, cleaning after the uh, slow sand filter after some months uh, so the method is scrapping and removal of biological layer is required which is quite, quite laborious work in a slow sand filter while in a rapid sand filter uh, we can uh, uh, use uh, water with or without air fabrication and it uh, uh, done simple and easy way that is also in a rapid, uh, rapid way now uh, construction is simple of, uh, in slow sand filter and no skilled uh, person or any trainer required to uh, access this while in rapid sand filter some of the skilled person are required and there is a construction of the whole filter is very uh, tough then uh, in uh, cleaning uh, intervals uh, three to four months uh, intervals are uh, enough uh, to clean in slow sand filter while one uh, in a rapid sand filter one or two days are required to clean this whole uh, rapid sand filter that is a basic uh, comparison between these two